Hi, my name's Dave. I'm just working here with Tony at the moment doing my gas portfolio. My first task, let by, stabilisation test and then tightness test. So as you can see, what I've done, gas is off, it's onto the test nipple, and I'm reading the manometer gauge here, and it'll give us a reading for our test. Between uh, the details on this, sorry, the details we have on this is for the let by first of all, so we're doing that test, which we time for one minute. We obviously we won't going to hang you on for one minute. We will then pause it and then come back and do the stabilisation test and then again the tightness test. So what I'm looking at on here then, I've got my timer set. It's counting down from one minute. I've set the uh, manometer to 20 millibar, which is basically detect stabilisation. I'm now just going to wait for the minute to pass and note any drop or rise in the manometer. So now, doing my uh, two minute tightness test, we're counting down at the moment here. Uh, it's gonna basically again, note any drop or rise in the manometer gauge. Hi, right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just doing my gas rate. As we can see, we have the gas switched on, manometer still connected, and what I'm doing is I'm timing one complete revolution of the dial on the gauge. Okay, we're nearly there. So, what we're going to do as it comes round, there we go. Right, I have my complete cycle, and it's taken 44 seconds to do one complete revolution for our gas rate. Imperial meter, so what I'll be doing with this is using the imperial measurements and doing my calculations for the gas rate using my time and the formulas for the imperial meter. So we're looking at the operating pressure here at the moment and as you can see by the gauge we have an operating pressure of 23 millibars. Okay so now I've uh, completed my test for the gas rate side of things so we have removed the manometer, reconnected and sealed the test nipple. I'm just going to test it now with the gas on with my LDF leak detection spray. Now what we're looking for here is for any bubbles to appear coming out of the seal between the joint between the actual screw and the test nipple. Obviously, if we do see any bubbles approaching, we have then a gas leak. We then need to tighten it up as, as due course. Now, noticing on the actual installation itself, you can see the earth, stra earth strap is in place, regulator seal is in place, and we also have the direction for the ECV on and off. It is securely mounted to a bracket on the wall. The only thing we don't have is an emergency contact number on the front of the boiler, uh, front of the meter, should I say. So now, test complete. It's back inside to the boiler to complete our further tests on that one. So, we're back at the boiler now, and as you can see, I have connected to the inlet side of the gas valve. With the boiler in its off state, we have a, a standing pressure of just over 25 millibars, 25 and a half millibars. What we're going to do on this is we're just going to check the actual rate of burn, so to speak, the operating pressure, and that will give us a reading on the manometer, which we can then confirm with the manufacturer's instructions to make sure that it's operating correctly. So, with the hot tap situated at on position, we have now the boiler in operation. We can notice on here that the actual pressure has dropped from the standing to the operating pressure, and it's reading 22 millibars. So happy with the uh, operating pressure there. What obviously we would look to do on some boilers is do the burner pressure. Now this one is a condensing boiler. It has a zero governor, so therefore we cannot do a burner pressure test on this type of boiler. Okay, so now we've removed the gauge. We have nipped the inlet valve back up again. We're just gonna test it with our LDF to ensure that the seal is actually secure. Now you have to be very careful with this because obviously there are electrical components around. However, I managed to get a direct hit on it and looking at it, I've managed to get that sealed up. Okay, so now time for our fluent combustion test. What I've done is inserted the uh, probe into the uh, fluid at the top of the test point. 
And now what we're doing is find the boiler up and we're just going to read our display. Now this shows the ratio, CO2 for parts per million and the, uh, sorry, carbon dioxide for parts per million and the CO2 as a percentage. We will also look at the flue temperature in a moment. However, these readings here, manufacturer's details, they are actually below recommended requirements. We'll just have a quick look at the uh, oxygen, as you can see here, and the temperature of the flue. They are well within the operating requirements for this boiler, so we're happy that the actual boiler is working correctly. So, you know, we're just checking the flame picture. We can see the observation window here. And looking through the window, we can clearly see that the flame picture is actually spot on. Okay, so we're just checking the uh, flue. As you can see, it's terminated correctly. Uh, it's, it's corrected with a seal around it as well and we have uh, the pressure release valve here that tells us is the exit, exit for the pipe itself and that is done correctly as well. Okay so that concludes the uh, search and test on the boiler itself. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, recommend Tony for this detail. Basically he's taught me everything that he knows so far. Very happy and I'm confident in everything that I do because of the training that I've received. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.